Welcome to the NGIT website and math podcast. My name is Vanessa, and today I will be covering binomial product of the sum and difference of two terms. So hopefully after a lot of practice, you're now an expert at using the FOIL method to expand on binomials. But when you have binomials that the terms are the same in both uh, expressions, there are actually more tricks you can use where you don't even have to use the FOIL method. And the one that we're going to go over today is when you have the sum and difference of two terms being multiplied. So if we're going to write that in a in letter form, it looks like this. a plus b times a minus b. So this for this rule, it's specific when the first and second term of both expressions is the same. And when you have that, you don't even need to go through the burden of having to use the FOIL method because the rule is, is when you have this exact expression, the answer is always going to be a squared minus b squared. And it's that simple. So let me go over a quick example in numbers. So say you had 3x plus 4 times 3x minus 4. It definitely fits the above format because the first and second term of both expressions is the same. It's 3x and 4. And the key thing is the signs alternate. It's a, it's plus on one side and minus on the other side. So then all we have to do is square each term. So that just simply turns into 3x squared. Now make sure that the square is on, on the outside of the parentheses because every little piece of that first term has to be squared. And then when it's always, always a minus in between, and then it's 4 squared. So then we just, we're going to distribute that square into, and get rid of the parentheses. So 3x squared is 9x squared. Please be aware that I squared both the 3 and the x. So both are, both pieces are, have to be squared. Always the minus in between, and then 4 squared is 16. See, that was super quick and super easy, and I didn't even need to use the FOIL method at all. All right, we're going to do one more example just like that, and then you should be all set. So say you had the expressions 1 minus 2x times 1 plus 2x. Does it fit our format? Yep, the signs alternate between minus and plus, and the, num the numbers or the expressions in each of the and each of the parentheses is the same. It's 1 and 2x. So because it fits our format, we can just simply apply the rule. So it's going to be the first term squared, which is going to be 1 squared, always the minus sign in between, and then 2x squared. So let's just apply the parentheses. 1 squared is always just simply going to be 1 and then minus in between, then 2x squared, the 2 squared gives us 4, and the x squared is x squared. So then there's our answer, 1 minus 4x squared, and we're already done. See how easy that was? So I would recommend using this rule whenever you see the format, and it'll come more naturally to you as you do more examples. But as soon as you see that, then don't bother going by the FOIL method or horizontal method, go straight for the rule, and you'll be done in about 2 seconds. So thank you for visiting the NGIT website. If you need any further assistance, stop by the CAPE or the Center for Academic and Professional Enrichment over in Kufrian Hall, room 200. And good luck in your studies.